Welcome, sorry about the synthetic voice, but I have my two little kids at home, and recording audio with them around is almost impossible. For now it's the only way to keep going, until things go back to normal. Today we will continue with the procedural texture series. If you didn't watch the previous videos, you should probably check them to catch up. On this tutorial we will learn how to create patterns, and also radial symmetry. Now you feel tired. You feel the desperate need to subscribe to my channel and like all my videos. And recommend my content to all your friends. Let's start by removing everything and adding a plane, then go to shading tab. Go to top view with numpad 7. Add a new material and remove the principal BSDF. Add texture coordinate, mapping and a vector math node. Set the vector math node to fraction. What fraction does is to give the fraction part of a value, so in this case 0.5 and 1.5 become the same result. Add a separate and a math node to create a basic shape that will help us see how this works. If you remember from the previous videos, on generated texture coordinate, we have a scale that goes from 0 at the leftmost part of the plane, to 1 on the right. So what will happen if we increase this scale on the mapping node? The scale will now go from 0 to the number we set there, but since we are using the fraction and the integer is discarded, we will have a pattern that will be repeated as many times as the number we set on this mapping scale. The math compare now finds multiple 0.5 values and that's why you see a pattern. Let's do the same for the Y axis. Now we can repeat the pattern on both axes. You can control both values at the same time by adding a combine node and a value node. If you want to scale in increments of 1, you can use a math node and set it to snap, and change the increment value to 1.
Now that you know how to create patterns. Let's see how we can create a radial pattern. To start, we need a coordinate that instead of going right to left and bottom to top, scales in a circular way on one axis and from the center to the border on the other. And since this type of coordinate is not included on the coordinate node, we will have to create it. We will start with the axis that scales on a circular way. To do this we will use arctan 2 math operation. This will give us the angle between our coordinate, and the positive x-axis. And that's exactly what we need. The result value is given in radians, we will explain briefly what that is. The radian is the length of the radius of a circle, placed on the circumference. You have 3.14 radians on half a circle, I bet you have seen that number before. We can check that this is exactly what we have by adding a compare math operation, and checking that the first value we can see is white, is when we go lower than 3.14 or pi. So, at this point, we have a radial scale that goes from minus pi, to positive pi, or minus 3.14 to positive 3.14. And we want to change that to a scale that goes from 0 to 1. There are always many ways to achieve the same result, we could use a coordinate range to do it in just one step. But first, for learning purpose we will convert from radians to degrees. This will give us a scale that we are more used to, and now it will go from minus 180 degrees to 180 degrees. Ok, now let's go back and do it the fast way. With the map range node we can change any scale to the scale we want. In this case minus pi to positive pi will change to a 0 to 1 scale. This is the result we need. Now let's create the other axis that goes from a zero value in the center and grows as it gets farther away. With the combine node, we will start creating our radial coordinate. Plug the result on the x-axis, and let's create the y-axis now.
In this case all we need to do, is to use a vector math node, and use distance operation, it will give us just that, the distance from a point to zero, and in object texture coordinate, the zero is in the middle. So that's exactly what we need. Now plug this result to the Y combine input. And we finally have our radial coordinate. Now let's see what we can do with it. You can group it, to clean up a bit using Ctrl plus G. This custom node will now work as a radial texture coordinate. Now we will use the same technique to generate patterns, that we used before. But this time it will be repeated on the radial scale. You can play with the X and Y axes now to create shapes that will repeat on a radial scale. I hope you've learned something new. Like the video if you find it useful. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell, to get a notification when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.